The uh, presentation was entitled, the title I was with, was entitled, uh, How to Prosper with New Technology. And I uh, gave a short history of Nichols Farms, which started in the 50s, and we've utilized uh, all the new technology since then, uh, EPDs. Uh, we've, uh, uh, we were one of the initial places that uh, uh, did ultrasound, and, and we uh, participated with a ge genomics company doing uh, uh, gene discovery. I wanted to visit with the people about the uh, competition that the American beef industry faces from uh, Brazil and countries all over the world and uh, how we needed to adopt new technology, mainly DNA, to uh, make our cows more efficient. Uh, we now have DNA markers that, which uh, enables us to uh, uh, get a prediction on the amount of feed that an animal will eat. We can then uh, divide that by how fast they gain and so we can have cattle that grow faster on less feed. And the important thing is not just in the feedlot, but in the, uh, in the cows, because the steer's only in the feedlot for 180 days uh, once a year. Uh, his sister is in our herd for seven years, 365 days. So uh, we've had increases in efficiency in our cows. Uh, we went from running cows that on four acres of weaned six or weaned 500 pound calves to now we have cows that are bigger cows that are running on 1.8 acres that are weaning 700 pound calves. But we're going to have to do better and I think that uh, uh, there's a bright future for American beef but we're going to face some competition and the last thing I want to happen is for beef to become so expensive that it becomes a special occasion food. The sheep industry uh, uh, as, as people's tastes changed, instead of trying to increase demand, they just kept decreasing the flock, the nationwide flock, till it got to the point that they lost critical mass, and uh, uh, it was hard to even find a place that sold lamb. So consequently, the only lamb that I know of is uh, occasionally you can find lamb that's uh, imported from New Zealand or Australia. And I certainly don't want that to ha happen to the beef industry.